What's going on, everyone? And welcome back to another edition of Action Sunday. And this week, I am looking at a classic Jackie Chan movie, Project A. I think it's about time I decided to get, uh, review some Jackie Chan films, or some more Jackie Chan films. In the past, I did a few, but now I feel like I'm really missing out, and I decided to review this one. This is an absolute classic, and it's one of Jackie Chan's best work, in my opinion. So, for those of you that are not familiar with the movie Project A, I'm going to tell you to stop this video right now and go find it, because you're really missing out, all right? Uh, but, but hey... Uh, hey, for those of you that have seen it, I, I, I congratulate you because this really is a popular one of his work. And, of course, it, I'm, I'm going to get to the mo moment why it's famous and why it's considered his best work in a moment. So, for, so but anyway, to the plot. The plot of this movie is that Jackie plays a guy named Dragon. Um, I forget what, his, what the folk guy's actual name is, but he's nicknamed Dragon. And somehow he is a... He, uh, he, is jo he has joined the uh, Chinese uh, Coast Guard, or, or essentially Project A, as it's a as they're called. So, and, and and what they're doing is they're trying to take down pirates on the on the South China Sea kind of thing. And it's a period piece, believe it or not. So, which is kind of interesting because if you don't know, don't know your history, this is like you know. So, I feel like, yeah, it's really odd. So I'm like, okay, it feels like a period piece, but it doesn't. But but the, the way, when you see the uh, cold thing and how and that mannerisms and everything that's being used, you definitely know it's a period piece because it takes place in the 18th, late 18th, early 19th century, just back when uh, China was still under British rule and uh, way before communism ever reared its ugly head in that country. No offense. But anyway, so so anyway, he he he's part of that. But then somehow something's going awry. Somehow he gets reassigned and becomes a cop, and it just goes off on this really interesting, uh, like uh, how do I say, thrill ride, just trying to take down the pirates as well as some corrupt, shady business dealings in Hong Kong. Or yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much. It's pretty much the gist. And it's all very fun. It's just one thrill ride. The stunts are great. The story is. Is our is is what it is, but hey, it's all the elements of a good Jackie Chan film. And in fact, Chan actually talks about it in in his uh, his autobiography. This is uh, this is it. Um, believe it or not, I'm, I'm actually almost done with it. And and I'll take let me tell you what makes a good Jackie Chan movie. Okay, let me go open up to that page. Okay, he actually talks about it. Um, and it's uh, it, there's six elements that make a good Jackie Chan film. Number one, he plays a common man. You know, he's a common man that plays everyday problem, has everyday problems. You know, the struggles, and of course, you know, it's kind of like, just like you and me. Okay, um, you know, oh, I, I got work, that kind of thing. I, I got family to feed, that kind of thing. And so, so he's kind of, so he buys that. Number two, it, it, the stunts, the, the, no, the fights are improvised. Yes, most of those fights are improvised. Whatever you see on on camera. That all that is um, is is just improvised improvisation, and especially like when it comes to uh, when, when he quotes here big fight in feels that's what he wants to do because he doesn't like to just stick to short short fights that you see in Hollywood. He wants to like give him the real big fight feel, and that's what he does. Number three stunts, which I'm going to get to in a moment. Uh, number four action because all movies are all about about the action. They build the plot around it, which is a cool thing. And the fifth one is the exact same. And in this case. It's the South China Sea, Hong Kong, all that. The period piece is really good, and of course, positive values. And this one, he, this one, how I say it, it's like he doesn't like he does if things are wrong. He does. He says he never expresses every, anything vulgar, mean, or negative. So, and that's what, and pretty much this is what uh, Project A come embodies, and you can see it. Now, now I'm going to talk about the stunt that everyone talks about: the clock tower fall. Go yes. Um. Every time I've seen this scene, I, I always, I always, I always, you know, something on my face as well as the interview of Oh Gil War. How the fuck did he not die? Because, because he actually suffered, almost didn't just suffer a neck injury from this, from this video. He actually talks about it in, in the book in, in further detail. And my goodness, and the fact that he had to muster up the courage just to hang there. And, get, and just let and just let himself fall through the awnings is just work. And like the fact that he was able to fall through the awnings, land on his neck, and just get up and finish the scene is just is just dedication to his craft. And Chan just does this in strides. And this is why Project Day is is considered one of his best works. And like the and of course obviously include the slapstick comedy, which in all honesty I feel like most of the fights I feel like is more like a slapstick comedy. From the first from the first fight in the bar, I don't want to give too much of the story away if you haven't seen it away. To like the uh, to like the pirate showdown, it's crazy. And 
it's just it's just great. All of this just really shows you like how Jackie Chan works and how he loves this move and how he loves to do movies and how he loves to do it. All right, it's just really great. And if you guys never seen this, you really gotta check it out for yourself. All right, and I definitely absolutely recommend you pick up Jackie Chan's autobiography. It's really good. Yeah, I am literally almost done with this book. I am kid you not. So yeah, I'm learning a lot about him. Like uh, I could. To go into a whole story about Chan right now, but I'm not going to. But all, all I got to tell you is this, uh, this project that he really embodies the spirit of Jackie Chan and what his dedication to his craft and why it, it's really got a classic and I don't think it's ever going to go, go away. And it's great. So if I'm going to give Project A a score, I'm going to give Project A a god dang 9 out of 10, okay, it's, uh, it, there's only one th thing that, that kind of, that dinged it for me, is the fact that it was like, okay, had, had me confused at one point, it's like, and, and of course, I, I get it, you got, you got to think real quick, it's like, oh, okay, got to go back, remember, okay, this is what happened, now, now I'm like, it's like, oh, wait, what, okay, now you, now you got to remember, it's like, you can, things can kind of get lost in the fold most of the time, but the story and the action is still there, and it brings it together, and just really presents it Self right to you right then there and just ends up ends with a great little funny moment i don't want to give much away you guys see this movie for yourself all right so that does for this week let me know what you think thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for some more awesome exciting videos